Hey, my name is Don. I'm the coach for Ariel Rice. My coaching mentality is just emphasizing teamwork, trading, just the fundamental seeds and just being adaptive. With the repick being introduced, uh, there's no reason on the attack not to try to be, not to bring like the most optimal lineup. And then on defense, just being prepared to counter it. I see myself as like a mediator for the team. A lot of arguments coming up, making sure that they're being constructive with their criticism, not necessarily taking personal attacks on each other. For the most part, just having fun. I don't really want to call it a flaw. Uh, we definitely struggled with like burnout last stage and it felt like there was like a clash of personalities. Jay and Reed had been playing Siege for so long, they just felt like it was time to call it. Reed actually had wanted to quit before the stage, um, but with Mirage picking up Mo so late, he actually ended up staying with us and just helping us throughout the stage. We ended up picking up three new players since then who I feel like are super nasty. Uh, they're willing to be coached and just overall feel like they just mesh better with the, uh, with the idea that we're wanting to bring with this team. I would love to give Poison a run for his money. Nothing against him. Uh, he's just a former player. Uh, we always have fun uh, to see. I just always have fun seeing how far they come on game days. I know when we tried him out for Ariel, he had. I, I was super impressed with how much he came as an, uh, came along as an IGL. So just super to see him. Super excited to see him on game day, but can't let him get the win. Uh, I'm a big Slothy fan. Uh, I had him on NKG. Super adaptive, super comms are so good. I feel like everybody on this team has had their Pro League tryout or like has had some kind of opportunity to get into Pro League. I think Slothy's had one, but I feel like him and Tra both have super high potential and I'm just excited to be working with both of them. So this one was actually uh, this question. A lot of people have been asking uh, who plays what role for the, uh, for the team when we announce the team. Uh, and honestly, they're just all really flexible players, which is going to be really exciting to play with. It's going to be a lot of fun cooking up plays for them to utilize because we're not really set into just one role uh, necessarily per player. Each person can play each role. It just kind of depends on what we're wanting to do. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I feel like having a stable league or even tournaments for amateur teams is super helpful, especially for myself when trying to assess talent. It's uh, gauging like the skill gap compared to like T2, T1. Players come up from T3 into T2. They'll be really just nasty in T3. And then they're struggling with T2 because it's, it's, it is like a different pace of game, different different things. So I think just having some kind of state or like impact on the comp scene, just having stability uh, with it will help with assessing talent. I'm a big mint chocolate fan. Uh, I, I hold down that hill. Love, love that flavor. On the weekends, I usually hang out with a lot of friends and we watch Game of Thrones. Uh, we've been binge watching it, trying to catch all of us up so we can watch the, uh, the newer stuff. So definitely keeping up with Game of Thrones now. Outside of Siege, I play a lot of Tarkov. I've been getting into Overwatch, Valorant, Apex. You can find me on most shooters. Just taking it easy nowadays. 